Hi guys, hope everyone's really well. Uh, sorry it's been a while, we're just uh, struggling to get any really decent waves to give these uh, short boards that I've got stacked up to do some reviews on for you a good crack. Uh, so yeah, apologize for that. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've talked anything on long boards as well. So I've just got a new long board recently, well, a second hand one, which I was very lucky to find second hand at a good price. And uh, I've had a bit of a shuffle up in the quiver. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, Skin Dog Blender came up second hand and it's in the uh, Thunderbolt Technologies and this is the full carbon so uh, you're really stoked to see this pop up and I was I like the shape of it and I felt one up in the shop so I was like yeah I think I'm gonna give that a go uh, it's uh, pretty much an all-round all-round high performance board is what I would call it it's uh, very similar to the likes of the Firewire Gem uh, and, and those kinds of boards so it's uh it's not ridiculously rocked and it still keeps a bit of width and a bit of thickness but it is quite high performance so it's a high performance all-rounder and they're uh, obviously running the two plus one setup so uh yeah just run through it a bit so basically really nice board they're an epoxy board uh they're an eps core and there's a whole lot of various carbon strengthening and stringers and bits and bobs going on inside that uh, giving you that really good pop and respond from the flex. Uh, probably best to actually go on their own website to look at it, but the full carbon, as, a, as far as I'm aware, it's got some EPS core, it's got a carbon I-beam stringer, and then it's got some carbon, carbon straps for supports. And then I believe this is actually clothed out in a carbon as well. So I believe the actual, uh, I'm pretty sure the actual cloth is carbon too. So uh, yeah, really light board, very, very lively, uh, super fast. It's even faster than the gem. Uh, it's a few liters down on the gem and it still paddles better and it's more maneuverable. So, you know, it's not, it's not night and day, but they're uh, really nice. And one of the things I saw on this, which I'll show you later on is the, uh, the concave so after having the uh after having the gem and realizing that a lot of the magic in the gem is coming from those that really deep v double all the way through the back uh this is very similar concave so when i saw the outline and the concaves and the sort of fairly fairly sort of mid mid to mid to narrow round tail yeah i really like the look of it and as i say the the rockers uh the rock is just nice it's not too much because uh pretty slow wave here so the rockers on some boards can just get too much you get you get too much rocker and the board just won't go so uh yeah this board goes really quick off the tail uh it likes uh it likes some fairly decent side fins you don't have to but uh i've basically i started with a slightly larger seven inch kaisalis rear fin and uh that was probably just a little bit too much so i ended up dropping down to the six and a half kai Salas, and then i've been working my way up on the side fin so i started with uh started with your normal uh i suppose it would be a like a small side bite it's like the carver side bite which i believe is the equivalent of the old gx and uh, then i went up to a medium sized rear quad you know like off a performer template and then i've gone up to the large size rear quad which is kind of like a it's like a small it's like a small side fin pretty much uh so yeah and i've settled on that and that's been a really good setup uh i'm guessing you could ride this as a straight thruster if you wanted to but uh this is really nice good versatility good versatility really nice to turn uh holds the rail really nice holds in in a decent wave really nice uh I've ridden this from like literally not even waist high to overhead and it handles everything. What I was really surprised at was how well it paddles and how well it goes in a really small wave that actually blew me away. I, I you know, especially after having the gem, I was expecting something like this to really struggle in a smaller wave because it's got say a little bit more rocker and uh, and it's down in the volume. So this actual board is 9 one, 22 and a quarter two and seven eighths and i might have to post this up down on the screen after because i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it came in around the uh was it down close to the 65 liter mark rather than the gem at 67 but i'll post it off and fix it up when i edit this uh so yeah not not really too much more to say basically so it's really nice outline template it's got a little bit of size in the nose still the tail's not super narrow uh 
the rocker's really, really nice, like a super nice rocker. Uh, and I'll try and get round and show you some of the concaves, but uh, when you get into the concaves, you'll see like super, lots of, lots of V and double, and it just seems to rock rail to rail really, really easily and go very quickly. So ideal, really. Uh, as I say, very light. It's got the nose concave as well. And these rails are definitely tapered down quite well. So uh, we start off with a reasonably, reasonably thick deck. And as you get out to this last bit of rail, really tapers down nicely. Nice sharp, nice, nice sharp rail finish. Uh, and as I say, that magic formula that I've been liking on the gem so much, which is the uh, fairly aggressive double V all the way out the tail. So uh, yeah, highly recommend one of these. Uh, the Thunderbolt technology is really good in general. It's uh, it's uh, EPS epoxy, like I say, a bit like my CJ Nelson. A lot of the boards are weighted for the purpose that they do. So uh, you'll get something like the, uh, obviously the CJ is quite heavy. That comes in at about nine, nine and a half kilograms. This thing comes in, I don't know, light, <laughs> light is the answer. And uh, like I say, seems to be something about this carbon that gives it a really lively, poppy, snappy feel and uh, really good speed. Okay, so, so just going with the uh, back half of the board. So coming right down from here, you'll just see heaps of V and double, like all the way through, like a massive amount of V and double basically. So hopefully this comes out all right. But yeah, as I say, you know, you can look at, you can see the V and you can see all the double in the curve. That, that's a lot of, that's an awful lot of V to get you from rail to rail very quickly. And it's got that double, double concave in it all the way through. So you've got basically a, a V panel with two scoops on it. And it's, uh, it's extremely aggressive. So like I say, thought I'd just leave the fins in because it really isn't going to take, not going to take much away from it, not being able to see past them. You can see just how much rocks in there and it goes all the way through to pretty much where your chest is. Uh, yep. Still, a, it's still a double concave, like way up the front there. And then I'll just flip around and show you the nose concave as well. So here we go on the nose side. You can just see this, uh, bit of a, just a nice little bit of nose concave there. Just a, just your usual sort of single, single teardroppy still concave and then uh quite interestingly as i was saying before you'll see we're just getting off that nose concave and into that double already you can see that double and v starting through there it's not got the v's not starting to get active yet but uh the minute you get back to about where your chest is you can see that rock kicking off there so that super aggressive v starts to go sing single concave through the nose here into a double concave there and then that double concave goes inside the v all the way through the back of the board so as i say you can see just how aggressive that is by the time you get down the other side so uh yeah that's one of the things that uh skin dog says on the board he's uh keeps a continuous concave going all the way through so you're just transitioning concave to concave basically so uh yeah i reckon that's one of the things that makes this board go fast and go rail to rail really quickly so uh yeah, yeah hope uh hope that's good and uh yeah if you if you're interested in the thunderbolt technologies just go and have a look on their website they've got a massive range of boards they've got uh some really good retro style well not retro but you know like traditional logs uh got like you know shapes like guy takiyama uh you've got the cj nelson shapes you've got the harley ingleby shapes and there's getting to the stage where there's something in it for everyone now there's, there's the high performance end all the way through to the traditional end and i believe that firewire have actually just bought this this company out for their technology so that's a uh, that's a fairly big deal i suppose that tells you how how good this is in terms of uh you know, being a durable, long lasting, good flex epoxy board, because that's kind of what Firewire really want to uh, concentrate on and cut the teeth on. I'm not sure where the, uh, I'm not sure how these stand on a eco manufacturer. I guess they're obviously probably good as well, because it'd be in line with what Firewire is after. So, yeah, that's a quick overview of this. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, you might see some more. You might see me do some more like first looks and first reviews on some of the other boards because it's, it's just been really difficult to get uh, good conditions to give you a good report on the actual ride. So I might actually go back to doing a, a review of the board and then uh, backing it up with a second part once I've had a ride because otherwise you guys uh, might get fed up of me and go away because you're not getting any content. <laughs> All right. Cheers guys.